If you have T-Mobile Home Internet, you may be looking for it to get faster. Now, I've covered all sorts of different ways to do this on my channel. One is to modify the antenna, but if you don't want to do that, we can actually pull the SIM card out, that's right, and put it in another device like this one. Now, on my channel, I cover devices like this. In fact, a whole host of different solutions, but one of them is, well, just adding an antenna to the device itself. What's neat about this one, and the reason this one has gained a lot of attention recently, is because this is in itself an antenna. This goes outside. It's powered over ethernet and goes up to 300 feet away. That's gonna allow you to get a nice clear view of your, of your skyline where you can get some better signal. How much better? Well, let's take a look. Now, this device receives two different 5G bands. It receives, well, uh, N41, which is at 2500 megahertz, and N71, which is at 600 megahertz. The faster they go, the more signal, but the slower they are, they, uh, the, the lower they are, the easier they are to catch. So 71, N71 is quite easy to catch. Now, when you step up to this one, you actually get a whole host of, well, let me see. I'm gonna go here. I'm in the device itself. This one's been up for 22 hours. Uh, I wanna go ahead and show you the whole host of different frequencies that we can get. Let's see, network settings, mobile network, advanced settings, and here we go. Here's all the, the different uh, bands that we can get. So N71 is here, of course, N41. Those are the two you already had, but we can also pick up bands 25 and 66, which are between 1700 megahertz and 2100 megahertz. They're easier to get than N41 and still up to three times faster than N71. Sound technical, it's not. Uh, but uh, what I really like about this modem is there's N48 support and N77 support. Those are the new mid bands, which are gonna allow, they're at 3.7 gigahertz. They're gonna allow this thing to go a lot faster. You're gonna be future proof with this. And uh, well, this I really like this solution. So it picks up bands, uh, LTE bands, and the whole gamut for T-Mobile, and that's really nice. Uh, I like my favorite ones are 66 and two. Those are your fastest ones, but I clicked on some of the other ones as well. What I do is go ahead and pull these here. When I set this up, go to system information and see what I'm actually getting. Now on my channel, I go over this so you can understand it better. This is 5G NSA. So that's the first iteration of 5G. 5G that's supported on top of 4G LTE. So you can see we're getting both a 4G and a 5G signal. Don't worry, this looks really complicated, all these negative numbers and such, but I'm gonna teach you how you can read them quite easily. So uh, band 66 is an excellent band for 4G, and that's our primary band. We don't just have one secondary band in the 5G realm, we have two, 41, which is excellent, and 25, which is at 1900 megahertz. So 2500 megahertz, 1900 megahertz, and band 66, very good. Nice combination. Now, the first thing we're gonna look at is power. How good of a signal are we getting? Well, we can see we're getting bars. And bars can be confusing sometimes because when you see the number of bars, you think you're getting a good signal. What it means is you're getting a strong signal. We can dig deeper into that. Now, sometimes you're getting a strong signal and it's not a good signal. And that's why band locking comes into play and this supports band locking as well. Some people have the same tower putting out N71 and N41 and they'd really rather have the N41, but guess what? At a distance, N71 is gonna appear stronger. So you can actually block it and say, give me that 41. It's a whole lot faster. Again, 2500 megahertz or 2.5 gigahertz versus 600 megahertz. It is significant, four times, four times faster. Anyway, there we go. So what we're looking for is 80 or above. And since it's a negative number, look, this is an excellent score. This one is in the good range. So there we go. Reference signal received quality. And the quality is, um, we're looking as close as we can get to negative 10. So negative 11 is right in the range. That's a very, very good range. Negative four is off the chart. That is really, really good score. And again, for 5G, we're looking, I'm getting 22. So I'm getting some really good 5G signal with this radio. Let's see what, how that translates into different speeds. So here, I'm gonna pull up a speed test. Go ahead and click it. First number we're gonna look at is ping, and that's the responsiveness of the internet. It's only important if you're really a gamer. 
But uh, this one has been doing pretty well. I'm getting about 20. There we go, exactly 20. And look at this. I was getting 100 inside the house, but now with the modem outside my house, with better signals, time of day dependent, but this is the middle of the day, and I'm pulling mm, over 300. Excellent. Up speed's also important. If you're doing Zoom calls and people are like, hey, it's cutting out, you're probably below six megabit. Six megabit, I've got 90. So this is gonna be absolutely phenomenal. So there's two ways that you could go. If your signal isn't great, you could fix this one by putting some leads on it, and I'll show you how to do that. But, uh, and we could add an antenna like this. It's looking at $400 and it gets you 30 feet away. This one gets you up to 300 feet away. And with the coupon code, that's gonna be 540, 549. So 549 gets you up to 300 feet away using an ethernet cord. And uh, that's just gonna be pretty good, hard to beat. Now, I've done some videos in the past where I compare this one against the other. And I like to go and do the IPv6 because that's the next generation. Now, when I ran it on this particular configuration, it was pooling IPv6, but then I got some new firmware because we noticed one little bug and uh, on 5G SA. This, of course, is NSA. NSA has been incredibly stable, by the way. So IPv6 is not working right now, but I'm working on that. I'm sending them all my log files. We're going to work together and get through this. And don't worry, by the time you get it, it should be fixed. Uh, it is working. I know the hardware is good. Firmware is a special kind of software that runs directly on top of the hardware. So once we get that all dialed in, it could be, uh, should be working great. Now we only started focusing on this and giving them the data, so this is a brand new event. But look, I've had this running for 22 hours, 19 minutes. So I know that this one is stable and I beat the heck out of this. Right now I have this device configured in NSA, which is based on 4G LTE, like this one. It's been incredibly stable, so uh, that's very good, but we could push it to the next level, and that's called 5G SA. So let's go here. Network settings, mobile network, NSA. So I could say, let's go to SA. Now I'm about to make a crash and, <laughs> and uh, make my video look silly, but all right, let's go ahead and do it because that's what we want to capture. So it has been incredibly stable as an NSA product. And again, that's all you can do with this thing right now. So let's try and push it to the next level. I have it set up. It's right now, there it goes. It just pulled a 5G signal. And as soon as I get a little meter here, it will have locked in. There it is. Okay, so now if I want to check some of these other things like, how about this? This is IPv6, does this work? Yes, I'm pulling an IPv6 address as well as IPv4. So that means it is working. The network's working, the modem's working, all the hardware's working. It's just fine tuning it. How about this? I was only getting IPv4 before. That's hard to say. Uh, let's go ahead and push it again. F5 will reload the page. And boom, instantly, IPv6 and IPv4, very good. So this is the where the internet's going. We ran out of IPv4 numbers. There's enough people on the internet, enough devices on the internet. It's not just people anymore. People have more than one internet connection now. We all have phones. My family probably has 15, it's crazy. So uh, we need IPv6, because look at this number, it's much more complicated. It's a ton more digits, and those are hex. They're not just decimal, they're hex. So this should last us at least another couple years. Uh, but that's really good. So that's working. Here's where I got it to fail. Not always the first time, but we'll get it to go. Uh, we'll see what it does. This is IP, well, this is 5G SA, which is just based on the 5G spectrum. I should be getting some really good speeds. Latency should get better than 30. It should be better than 5G NSA. It gets me some really nice scores on the down. I should have checked and seen which, which bands we pulled because we're just pulling 5G bands right now. 370, nice. And look at this. This is where it's failing, the up score. It's, not, it's gonna crash and then 
my video is over. <laughs> but here, I should be able to jump over here and see what we're getting. System information. Nope, it's down. Well, guys, there you go. Uh, you wanted to see, is this one working? And as you could see, I've been running it for 22 hours. It's been very solid, but in NSA mode right now, the exciting part is you can switch to SA. It will support your IPv6. Not currently supporting it in NSA. Don't worry, I got them the data, it will. Click this button, get 50 bucks off. I like this modem, I think it's excellent. Because it has the antennas not close to the modem, in the modem. You put the modem outside. Now, there's a couple caveats on this. Um, it does have a temperature thing, so if you are in some parts of the world where it gets like 25 below or something like that, you may wanna check the temperature specs because it does not go that low. Cold resistant, yes indeed it is. But I, here it was temperature, aha. Storage temperature, no operating temperature, negative 30 C. That's darn cold. If you need it colder than that, I would go with an outdoor antenna, but that's really cold. Where I live, if you could see your breath, it's a sick day. So, <laughs> but, so negative 30 C, what's that in American? Okay, so minus 22, that's really, really cold. So this is an excellent unit. I've been thrilled with it. Right now you can get 50 bucks off of it. And yeah, we are working with it. If this is the kind of device you want because you want a good outdoor antenna solution, you want to be future proof, I like this device a lot. I'll put a link down below and uh, make sure you click that button and save 50 bucks off of it. But I think it's a rather good deal. See you in the next one, guys.